epic female entrepreneur today is multi-gifted serial entrepreneur Sherry Gideons. Sherry is a transformational keynote speaker, a number one best-selling author of Mastering Ultimate Thinking and contributing author to the international bestseller, The Number One Habit. She is also a spiritual teacher, life mastery consultant, success mentor, and health and wellness expert. She is the host of the High Vibe Nation Live podcast and the High Vibe Nation Movement and Expanded Women Network and podcast. With a Bachelor's of Science degree in Mass Communications and Technology, training in metaphysics, and as a former professional bodybuilder and fitness expert, Sherry has achieved renowned status as a new thought leader and a top fitness, wellness, and motivational coach. Her background includes over 30 years of experience guiding individuals and groups to living healthier with greater happiness and peak performance. Today, Sherry continues her quest for spiritual knowledge and has a unique and powerful ability to address life issues from an integrated and comprehensive level. Featured on Fox News, NBC, CBS, NDE International, and numerous fitness magazines, Sherry is dedicated to the evolution of humanity by helping people discover their own greatness and inspiring them to live extraordinary lives. Welcome, Sherry Gideons. Thank you. What a pleasure to be here, Jane, and I am so grateful for this moment to get to share with everyone else. Well, thank you so much, Sherry, for being here. And we'll get right to it because you have an amazing story. You say, I was shown I am here to help people discover their own infinite greatness. Tell us about that powerful story that led you to that sentence and awareness. Yeah, so travel back to 1997 and i was at a particular moment in my life where i was struggling with you know self-esteem meeting up to the expectations of the world i had been led to believe most of my life that perfectionism is what led us to love and acceptance and success and so I had really merged into the pro bodybuilding and fitness industry. And it was a time during the evolution of the 80s and the 90s where that industry was evolving and moving very quickly around the amount of muscle that you know women were required to have. And so I got to the point where I thought, well, the only way for me to truly reach this level of perfectionism was to starve myself to death. And so here I am, 78 pounds. I hadn't eaten in six months. And I was asking those questions that a lot of us ask. Why am I here? What am I meant to do? Is pain and suffering and challenge all that life is meant to be experienced? And so what happened was, is I ended up having a massive heart attack. And it was in that experience that I traveled to what we call the white light. And in this experience, I experienced love beyond human understanding. It was a separation from the body. It was freedom be what I, behind what I could ever say to you or even that I could describe in human terms. But what I experienced was my life over. I was shown everything that I had given while I was in the human experience, whether it be love, whether it be hate, whether it be judgment or kindness, whatever I gave, I got to experience it through all of those that I had given to. And what was also shown to me is that which I had not yet finished. Ultimately, what I had come here for in this lifetime, all of the purposes that I had chosen to potentially fulfill in this lifetime. Of course, I was you know, shown many, many things, many deep things as to why we're all here. I was also surrounded by souls and angels and ascended masters. And while it may seem very deep, what was given to me was the choice, the choice to stay in this loving experience or to come back and fulfill my purpose. Now, the other thing that was shared with me is that I never had to worry 
that all the right people would show up at the right moment to help me move forward. And that my message to share with the world was that we must give of ourselves freely without expecting and love is all there is. Well, here I'm back in the physical world and I'm, and I'm what we call vibrating from a frequency of pure love. So I had all these spiritual gifts. I had telepathy and clairaudience and um, I was clairvoyant. And I'm, here, I'm in 1997 trying to share the depth of this magnificent experience. And people weren't ready for this depth at the time. What I realized is I had to grow. I had to go through these experiences. And it wasn't easy. I mean, I experienced, I mean, I've been married, divorced, drug addicted, bulimic, anorexic, had money, lost money, walked the streets homeless twice. Mm -hmm. I lived with the Italian mafia in Las Vegas. I have been a pro bodybuilder. I mean, I've dealt with suicide from a fam, my brother. And what I came to understand now, 24 years later, is in order to be that woman, that I was shown that I had the potentials to fulfill in this lifetime. It was from those experiences, because you see, we all go through experiences and we couldn't know unless we had known that which we are not. And it's from those experiences that I gained solutions and insight and wisdom and, and, and tips that I love to share with people today that I learned from surrender and letting mm -hmm. go and allowing the, the what we what I like to call the infinite source, God, we could call it God, we could call it our higher power. But when at the end of the day, when we learn to live in the moment, when we learn to allow the outcomes of our life through us, within us, then life begins to take on an entire new meaning. It begins to take on why we are all here, because I don't have anything each and every one of you doesn't have. We all have it. Right. Wow. That is so powerful. Um, I've just got chills. That was <laughs> amazing. Tell us what it means to unlock your I am and tune into a clear channel. You are the source, you said. Yes. So each and every one of us within us is the source. There's no separation between what we call the universe, God, our higher power. That source is within us as us, but we can only access it to the degree we align and unite with it and allow it. And so when I talk about unlocking your I am, and it's done through a, key, a clear channel, I first ground myself in my connection with spirit. And I do that through a five-step process. Now, first of all, what I am, anytime any of us says I am in alignment with the source within us, it's like saying God in me is. And so when I go through this five-step process, and these are things that have healed numerous health issues in my life, the way I speak it, the way I align with it and say it, once again, you can do it too. And it starts by first recognition. There is only one source, one power, one infinite intelligence that's everywhere present. And then the second step is unification. I align with this power through me, as me, within me. And then the third part of the five-step process is what's called declaration. Now that I've aligned and recognized God is all there is and unified with that source as me within me, now I'm speaking my word as if it is speaking through me. And I declare that there is only right now, that I am whole, perfect, and complete, that everything in my body works in complete harmony, whole, perfect, and complete, that every cell, every bone, every artery is aligned in the dance of perfection. I could say it as simple as that. And then I move in to the fourth step, which is gratitude. I am so grateful to know that I am worthy, that I am worthy of this power, that this power exists within me. And as I speak my word in total alignment with it, every avenue, channel, and opportunity for it to be made manifest is 
delivered. And that moves me into what's called the last stage of the five steps. And that is release. And so I release my word. When I speak my I am, I am releasing my word aligned with that power out into the infinite universe, the quantum field. And I am allowing the outcome is none of my business. I am knowing that it is already done and it is already so. And I let go of the how because this is an infinite universe. Only knowing that God in me is. I am. Wow. Mm -hmm. Every individual just needs to repeat that and play that over and keep it so that they can have it and replay it. That was incredible and so empowering, um, especially for entrepreneurs who often struggle with different issues in life. But when you say that you're in alignment with that and alignment with the gratefulness, it just, it, it's, it's flow. It's flow. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. As a female, as female entrepreneurs, why is it crucial for us to be asking ourselves, what is seeking to emerge from me? Yeah. So, the, you know, the greatest teacher that started out for me in 1997 is the amazing Reverend Michael Beckwith. And, mm -hmm. and he said the same thing I just said a few minutes ago is, is that we are not separated from this power. This power is not outside of us. It's inside of us. And so when we, any question we ask, the quality of questions we ask determines the quality of life we live. And so when we say, what is seeking to emerge from me? Once again, getting out of the way of the how, what happens is, is that power is everywhere present. So the answer will be delivered through a dream, through being woken up in the middle of the night, through you know driving down the freeway and a street sign on the side of the road says, you be you. Or just like myself, I was asking that question once in Venice Beach, and all of a sudden I looked up and there was a wall in front of me that literally said, you have not been forgotten. You can leave an impact. You can make a difference, literally. And so that's what is so important when asking better and better questions. That's mm -hmm. why it's so crucial because like I said, this power is in here. This outer world, is only created, manifested as a result what's going on in here. Whether you're conscious or unconscious of it, every experience is showing up from your state of being. Mm. That last, everything is showing up from your state of being. That's a, a light bulb moment. Just mm -hmm. love it. What do you mean by the behavioral window? Ooh, this is one of my most favorite subjects, simply because when I was on the other side, one of my messages I was told was to bring back the power of the moment. And so a behavioral window exists in the seconds, in the moments, and in the hours of only today. And so what most of us are unconscious that we're doing is, is, is in a second, we're having a thought. And that thought is compiled within a 17 second period of another thought. And then another 17 seconds of another thought. Now mixed with that is a state of being and that being is a feeling. And that feeling we could also call a vibe or we can call it a frequency. But ultimately, mm -hmm most of us are unconscious that we use our memory to go back to the past and we pull those memories, those thoughts from the past and the feelings from the past into right now. And what is happening is, is we're putting that out into the universe, into everywhere that is present. And so the behavioral window is showing us based on what's showing up in the now as experience, as environment, is a mirror of our behavior, a mirror of our state of being. 
And so when it shows up in the now, what do most of us have the habit of doing? Our program of being is usually to attach to it if it's negative, to respond in the same energy that is, whether it's resent, hatred, anger, frustration, you know, not enough, not worthy, not deserving. If that's the behavior in your moments of today, and that behavior is showing up as an experience, here's your most precious opportunity is to become the observer and to realize, and I say, sit on your own shoulder and observe without emotion, but just look at yourself, look at what's showing up. And then what I say is ask yourself, what is it you really want? Because you have a choice in this moment of awareness to choose differently. That's how powerful we are. And say to yourself, what is it I really want? I said earlier, I told you about speaking your word. Well, the same thing applies right here and right now. What I really want is to be right here with all of you, sharing tips and solutions and metaphysical teachings to help you to tap in, tune in, and turn on that vibration, that antenna. It's just like a radio signal, an antenna, and you're turning that dial up to a clearer station because now you're putting out that frequency of what I really want and you're pulling that vibration into the moments of today instead of a few minutes ago when you might have been pulling in experience of a bill or you know some setback or challenge or whatever it was and now you're using your point of power to address it in the way that is serving you rather than not serving you right so your behavioral window is that which you can reflect you're looking through the window of your behavior, and being aware of what it is. And when you are the, when you become aware of what it is, that's when you can, the consciousness clicks in because you say, okay, that's not where I wanna be. I wanna be here. Mm -hmm. Just so powerful and insightful. I love it. Taking massive action towards your goals and mission is crucial for success as an entrepreneur. What is the secret to doing that? You said it requires inspired action. What is inspired action? Yeah, so here's the, we all have to take action. Don't get me wrong. But mm -hmm. I wanna describe a different understanding of action. Remember what I said earlier, that every single thing we see outwardly is a manifestation of what we gave power, what we planted the seed and watered inside here mm -hmm. first. So when it comes to mass, massive action, if we're do, 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 doing, and trying to control the how, and we're depleting our bodies of energy because all we're doing is you know, acting out in the physical world, then what happens a lot of times is all the things we're doing, they don't manifest the way we want. And we're, we're tired and we're worn out. The difference between massive action and inspired action is when you take that time to ground yourself in the morning and to meditate, whether it's five minutes or 10 minutes or longer, and just get still and learn to develop the habit of first going within. It's just like little breadcrumbs when a bird has a breadcrumb and then it goes to the next breadcrumb, the next breadcrumb. That's the way spirit works. Spirit will show you every next step to take inspired action. When you take inspired action, it feels amazing. It's like you, you follow the inspired step. And then you accomplish that. And then the next step is not you going out there and trying to make things happen. The next step is shown to you, whether it's inside yourself mm -hmm. or whether you open up a book in the moment and it tells you exactly what the next step is. Or you're having a conversation, like we're having a conversation here right now. And maybe I say something to you that gives you the inspired action to make, take the next step in your life. But 
the whip crackers of the world, they teach us we got to be moving quick and we've got to take massive action and we've got to do, do, do. That's not what an inspired action is. Inspired action is a higher connection inside yourself that reveals to you the next step. And I promise you that when you start taking these steps of meditating, I have a journal. In the journal, I start out every morning by one statement. I'm so happy and grateful now that... And I'm stating what it is I want from the place that it's already so, from the Sherry and her feelings and seeing her in that place, whether it's a new house, a new job, um, a new book, I'm seeing myself already having accomplished that desire. Mm -hmm. and, and then the next thing I do is I call it my 60 second morning blast. I get up in the, I look at myself in the mirror and I smile just like I'm smiling right now. And I just, I say, hey, Sherry. Oh my gosh, you are so beautiful. And man, I love your kindness. And I love how much fun you love having and how you like being this over the top Sherry Marie Gideons. And that's so wonderful that you're allowing yourself to be that and to show others of you know, how they can be that in themselves. I do that for 60 seconds. And what that does is it revs up the energy for the day. Because so remember, we're all vibrating, energetic human beings. We're souls. And when we're aligned and connected to that higher vibration of fun and play and childlike um, yes. nature, we rev ourselves up and start for the day, putting that out into the universe. And now we're pulling back more of that. I love it. I'm already happy. And I haven't even <laughs> said to myself, you're happy, you're great, you're fabulous. I'm just listening to you and I'm like, I am so happy now. <laughs> I'll just have to call you every morning. We'll just talk on, on uh, the video and we'll make our, uh, that was fabulous. All I, can, all I could think of was I could see my husband going, who are you talking to? <laughs> Just be sure to tell your significant other that you're going to be doing this. Otherwise, they might think you've gone off the deep end. But oh my yeah. gosh, I, I absolutely love that, Sherry. Oh, it put everybody in such a great mood, wouldn't it? I mean, oh, you're 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 your, you're your biggest fan. I love mm -hmm. it. Be become mm -hmm. your biggest fan. Why not? Yeah. Okay. That was fabulous. What is the law of energy? You tapped on that, and you know, I know you've talking about you've talked about vibration and energy source, and how can it serve us in life and business? Now, you may have already answered that, so you might just want to encapsulate it. But I just want individuals to understand that this law of energy really is—it's um, not woo woo anymore. That we've proven it by science and. Really, you know how you could say when someone walks into a room, they have magnetism. That's mm -hmm. their energy force. You know, Star Wars, may the force be with you. To me, that's what it says. That's exactly what it says. We are the I am. And mm -hmm. the more we're connected and aligned with that I am, everything is energy. Everything is a vibration. Everything is moving. Science has proven that. So if that's the case then, and we said that right now is all there is, then that means that everything in the moments of moments of today is a choice. And it can either be as easy as we want it to be, it can be as simple, or it can be hard as we want it to be. But it's where we're tapped into belief and it's those programs you know, in our operating system, I like to call them viruses and they're duplicating that are either delivering to us what we really want and who we are, or they're delivering to us a mirror of who we are not. And so the more that we connect that belief, that higher belief in ourselves, life will be simple. It's not as difficult as we make it. Life only shows up hard because we believe it's hard. Like my father used to say, you know, money doesn't go on, grow on trees. You got to work hard to make your money. Yep. It's not like that literally the more that you develop these habits because it's habits and it requires repetition and the more that you strengthen that muscle of a, of a habit that serves you in yourself so if it's ease and grace then guess what 
money shows up to you in your life. Abundance shows up in to you in your life with ease and grace. And it shows up in ways that you could never, you know, think of because this is an infinite universe. It can show up in avenues, channels, and opportunities, you know, in an infinite way that you couldn't analyze, rationalize, or scrutinize. So my saying is, is be in the moment and understand that the moment will always show you what you have the choice to shift. And so when it comes to business, the clearer you are about what it is you want and get very specific, the more those things will show up in ways that you couldn't imagine. Get out of the way of the how. Get out of the way of the how. I love it. Tell us about the power of choice and how that affects our success in life and business. Oh, well, you just kind of touched on that. Everything is a choice. You know, yes. things can be simple if you choose them to be, or they can be difficult if that is the way you see them. It's perception. Wouldn't you That's say? Exactly. What it is. Yes, it's absolutely perception. So change that habit of perception. Mm -hmm. Open yourself up to stop trying to control everything. Get clear about the feeling in here that you would feel from. Because right. the, the more that you feel from, you have to create it in here before you see it out there. Yes, absolutely. It is about a feeling. You're, you're absolutely right. Um, explain heart coherence and why as entrepreneurs, Leading with the heart is the most powerful client attraction there is. Yeah, so we have within our bodies what are called chakras. And it starts out with the base of our tailbone right there is called the root chakra. Then right below our belly button, the sacral, above the belly button, solar plexus, right here, heart, throat, third eye, and crown chakra. And so what happens is this energy is flowing back and forth within us, whether we realize it or not. And so when we're stopped up with negativity or resentment or any of what we like, I mentioned earlier, those lower feelings, those lower vibrations, we're clogging up the energy and these chakras from flowing out from our crown chakra into the universe and the universe bringing back in, we're stopping that up. And so those chakras can be as little as this or they can be as big as this with energy. And when we begin to understand how they function in our body, we have what's called three brains. And so we have our gut brain, we have our heart brain, and we have the brain that we have in our head. The heart brain vibrates at 4,000 nearites more powerful than the other two brains. So when we develop, remember I said earlier, the size of the circumference of the chakra right here in the heart region, as we begin to tap into the heart and we start to learn how to breathe better and we breathe from our heart, we grow the energy in that space. And what I said earlier is that's pushing out energy 60 times more powerful than the human brain. And so mm -hmm. when you're doing that and you're developing that coherence and that resiliency within yourself, what's happening is, is the, we can call it the universe, God, the quantum field, spirit. It's doing the work for you. It's bringing back your dreams, your desires, everything that is vibrating from this frequency that's so powerful, so coherent, and so resilient with ease and grace. And so the more that we become in tune with daily breathing, making sure that when we're breathing in a certain pace, I always tell people when you breathe, breathe deeply, from your root chakra, almost like tense up that muscle and breathe like you're pulling the air up through a straw. And you feel that come all the way up to your heart. But while you're doing that, your tongue is touching the roof of your mouth. Now, when you breathe out, breathe out at the same pace and you breathe out through the heart. Imagine that air slowly coming out, almost like a and you're feeling it in the heart space 
as you begin to develop that, when you're going through experiences like anger, resentment, frustration, because you're going to feel it. You're going to feel when you're in that place and you're going to be putting that lower vibration out. Take that second, whether it's a one minute breathing and breathe, tensing up that lower chakra, pulling that air up through the straw, feeling it coming up through your heart, and then slowly breathing the air out through your heart. The more that you do that, you will develop a resiliency and a coherence in that heart region that whether it's business, whether it's relationships, whether it's anything that you desire, you will begin to pull more of that into your life with ease and grace and coherency from the heart. It's an attractor that's so powerful. The more that you commit to developing it. I can feel your energy, your heart energy and your passion just bouncing off the screen. And while you're doing that, I'm sitting here breathing. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> wow. If, if I get a little fainty, you'll know why, because I'm a but oh my gosh, what a great practice. I am going to be doing that every day, but absolutely. I mean, that's why when we're under stress, you often hear people say, take a deep breath. But mm -hmm. when you have the method that you're talking about, you actually bring it to a higher level, which yes. then you, that opens up all that energy in the heart. And, and oh, wow, uh, that is incredible. You are one of the contributing authors of the international best-selling book, one habit now the book asks what is one habit that you had to ch you changed in your that changed your life forever uh and what is one habit that you let go of i wonder if you could share with our audience a very brief peek into that because the book is on the international bestseller and what a fabulous thought that that would uh, and and closing thought that would give to our audience yeah, so like I said, I let go of trying to control and maneuver the how. And as I said earlier, the more that we allow, the more the right people, the right situations, the right opportunities, just like I was told in the white light, that I never had to worry that all the right people would show up at the right moment to help me move forward. That's not the message only for me. That message is for each and every one of you as well. We've all been given free will. We've all been given choice and volition. So that requires getting clear and specific with what you want. So I let go of trying to control everything. I was a major control freak. I had to micromanage every area of my life, whether it was in business, whether it was in my relationship with my husband, whether it was with my children. But you have to realize a lot of that are just habits and modeled behaviors, conditioned behaviors that we accumulated from other people, our parents, the people around us, and so now what happened was, is I decided I'm letting go of all that. I'm aware go. that I'm doing it. I'm boom, go with the flow. flow. Yeah. Yes. Go with the flow. Go with the yeah. flow is such a, a freeing space. And, yeah. and so what happened is, is in the early 2000s, I attracted this amazing woman into my life, um, Mary Morrissey, if anybody's ever heard about her. And she taught me just like I said earlier, how to create that space in the now by saying, I'm so happy and grateful now that it creates an energy. So when you're, when you're writing in a journal and you start out with those words, you're already raising your frequency, raising your antenna. Now, when you begin to say, I'm so happy and grateful now that I am making an impact worldwide, that the world is hearing my message and, and it just brings an amazing joy and love and, and smile to my face, that it's almost like I am speaking through my voice and 
there is energy or fairy dust that's coming out of the voice of my mouth and it's being received through the voice and the throats of those that I'm impacting and speaking to. And there are seeds that are being planted within them in which they awaken and are impacted and feel the power of who they truly are. And I am so joyous and grateful to be able to be a messenger, a vessel, to be able to do this. That's what I'm writing in my journal. I'm getting so clear and so specific and how I want to impact and how I want to help other people tap into their unique greatness and help them to remember the power that they are. That's my message. That's my, that's my reason for being here. And the more that I document that in my journal, boom, the more it materializes with opportunity in my physical world. I could see that. Oh my gosh. Hallelujah. I mean, that's, I'm just going to go hang out with you all day. <laughs> I'll be on cloud nine for sure. You, will, you have to get a rope to pull me down. That is absolutely fantastic. I can't say anything more. I just keep saying that, but oh my gosh, you are just a light. You are a beam. I'm uh, yeah, you are. This is why we have Sherry here. Um, whether you know it or not, this is all about your mindset. It really is. You can call it whatever you want, like Sherry says, source energy. But mm -hmm. it, it's really the thoughts that clutter our minds, the stress that we put on ourselves. It's very difficult not to be controlling. Everybody gets, I think, gets wrapped up in the control thing one way or another. You know, it's it, and it adds to our stress. To move on, I just wanted to ask Sherry if there were any last words that you would like to share with our audience before we go to your free offer. Yes, I just want everyone, each and every one of you to know that you have a unique blueprint. You have a unique reason that you are here, that you chose, and that you knew that you were gonna come and experience the experiences you've had up until this point. You knew the people that were gonna show up in your lives, but you knew that you could remember the power that you are and to activate that within you and be that person you came here to be because you're that special. There's no need to compare any to people and think that they're doing things that you want or that they're, they may be better at you with, you are unique and special. And so I'm sharing with you, tap into that in here. Get better and better at the quality of questions you ask yourself because they will be delivered. But allow them in these ways that you never imagined through a book, through a person, through a street sign, through a cereal box at the grocery store. That's how spirit speaks to you and talks to you. So open yourself up because you deserve it. Wow. Thank you. Uh, how would you like to share your free offer with our audience? Yeah. So I love sharing the simple steps to greatness and, and, and really tapping into that. And, you know, maybe some of you already know, but it never hurts to re-look back through these kinds of things and to remember, oh, you know what? Aha. That I needed to be reminded of that in the moment. So yeah, my free gift is the seven steps to greatness. Thank you. Thank you so much. And all of that information will be available. I have one last question because we're here on the Epic Vision Zone. So I'm very, very curious about this one, Sherry. If your life or an epic story, what would the title be? Living to be, living to be, living to be the real me. Climbing <laughs> mountains as I begin again. Yeah, living to be the real me. That's my whole journey is to step outside. And, and, and sometimes that means stepping outside the crowd of sheep and daring to be you, not worrying about what other people think, but living to be the real you. Yes. Don't be a sheeple. That's what we call it. The sheeple. Yep. <laughs> I love that. Those, those, those that follow the herd. The sheeple. Yes. Be unique. Be who you are. Once again, oh my gosh. Thank you, Sherry. This has been incredible. And I want everybody to please check out Sherry's information. She has got incredible connections. She has got incredible links there with 
Connect with her on social media, her website, her free offer will be in the Summit directory. You can reach out to Sherry directly through any of those links, I'm sure. And I once again thank Sherry for spending her morning with us and be sure to check me out on Instagram at Jane Applegath and check out how you can become an epic entrepreneur at janeapplegath.com. This has been the Epic Vision Zone, transforming your dream into epic success. Congratulations for signing up for the Female Entrepreneur Revolution. We're bringing you some of the most exciting female entrepreneurs from around the globe to share with you their knowledge, their ideas, their inspiration, and more importantly, their resources to elevate you to prosperity and freedom. And by being here, you're on the cusp of something great, your epic future. I'm Jane Applegath, founder of the Epic Vision Zone and producer of the Female Entrepreneur Revolution. Be sure to get your VIP pass and join me after the summit on June 16th for a very special VIP coaching session where we'll have hot seating, summit Q&A, and a special guest appearance by one of our speakers just for you where we'll ignite your vision, up-level your confidence, and set you on the path to your dream's epic success. This is your opportunity calling. It's time to take action. Get your VIP pass now. I can't wait to see you on the other side.